Eunice Wamboy has been waiting for this cornea transplant for the last five years. She was going blind. Her cornea, the transparent outermost part of the eye, has over the years been badly damaged. The doctors can only operate on one eye and put her on another waiting list because they're short of the needed tissues for the other eye. She has a condition known as keratoconus, a leading cause of corneal blindness in Kenya. It came a time when I had to go off my studies because completely I could not see. Half a million Kenyans are partially or totally blind, 20% of them because of corneal problems. This hospital's eye bank gets fewer than 200 corneas a year. Local culture makes organ donations difficult here. The majority of the corneas we've been getting is from the U.S. And uh, the corneas cost us uh, between $500 to $1,000 each. And these are uh, mid-level corneas. If they are very, very good, high-class corneas, they cost up to $3,000. Uh, that means people like Teresa Okello in a village in Western Kenya can hardly afford the thousands of dollars needed for the procedure. She too suffers from a corneal condition. She's been seeing a traditional hela, petia koth, for three months now. A koth is confident that a concoction of herbs applied once a week will help the patient get her sight back. <laughs> She's had this problem for five years. She's visited the hospital, but the problem won't go away. My herbs will clear the cloudiness in her eye. She swears by the leaves, shoots and shrubs she's been using for decades after inheriting the healing practice from her mother and grandmother. A court says she gets her herbs from plants in her neighborhood after they are revealed to her in dreams. She also tells us that what she's boiling now treats most ailments and this is specifically for the eyes. Traditional healers are recognized in the country's healthcare system. They're important, mostly in rural areas, serving communities with few hospitals or people who cannot afford medical care. We do get patients, so eye patients, who come to the eye clinic very late after having been attended to by uh, traditional healers. So they come when their eyes are now in late stages. Okello pays her healer less than $10 for the herbal treatment she gets, but without the cornea transplant, her prognosis is grim. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Homer Bay, Western Kenya.